Vegan Side Effect Out of Control is Your Ever Growing Love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Raikan Hong Rao, mi hai lai pasa, produ suprememastertv.com tap schedule. Maybe the moral of this is that you should check out your partner before you want to cooperate with him or her to make a business. Because some people might not be as honest as we think they are. Sometimes outside they look very sweet and kind and gentle and honest, but inside it's different. It happened to me also many times. Yeah, including spiritual. Robbery and all kinds of stuff. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu and Thai. Sani Bonani is the greeting for hello in Siswati, one of the official languages of Eswatini. My name is Mbali. The brave Eswatini people are thankful for your choice to be vegan for the animals and the planet. The Kingdom of Eswatini, a nation known previously as Swaziland, is one of the smallest countries in Africa. Bordering South Africa and Mozambique, the kingdom is ruled by His Majesty Msuwati III and the Queen Mother Ntufombi Tufuala. By tradition, the king is the administrative head of government, while his mother is the spiritual head of state. Eswatini has a wide variety of landscapes with breathtaking views of mountains, savannas, rainforests, and river filled valleys. The proud Swazi people are loyal protectors of their splendid culture, the pristine environment, and precious wildlife. The nation's more than 70 clans coexist harmoniously and are each governed by a hierarchy of chiefs. Over 75% of Swazis live in traditional family homesteads, with meals that include leafy vegetables, roots, and fruits. Festivals and dance are essential to the Swazi culture. Every year, the Nkwala ceremony is celebrated to renew and strengthen kingship among the nation's men. The colorful Umplanga reed dance is performed by thousands of young women in traditional attire. After gathering reeds at the riverbanks, each dancer presents their reeds to the Queen Mother as a symbolic gift to protect her residence. It was a pleasure to share a glimpse of splendorous Eswatini with you, radiant viewers. We wish for world peace to be here soon so that all may live in pure bliss.
For decades, Supreme Master Ching Ai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin Method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the International Vegan Restaurants, Loving Heart, Vegan Food Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Satan's Co-Investment, Part 2 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on July 31, 2021. Now, are you happy that you don't have any wife? <laughs> no woman controls your life? I mean the in-house people. No husband, no wife, so you are free. At least you're free every day. You do your job and then you rest when it's time. You go meditate when it's time. You eat when you're hungry. Your life is better than mine, although I don't have any wife. <laughs> the thing is, Mm. If you are with someone, unless that someone is truly one with you, it's very difficult to enjoy your life. Yeah. Husband and wife are supposed to be very close, tight friends and helping each other. But it's not always the case and it brings a lot of sorrow and tears and sometimes affects the children, the family, the business and even the country and the world. Many stories I read sometimes somewhere, some stories I read before that some people are frustrated with the wife, or frustrated with the one-sided love, so they went out and made war. They went out and invaded another country just to vent out their frustration or anger. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible like that. I even heard that the General de Gaulle the hero of France was very afraid of his wife, but it's only a rumor. I have never met them, so I don't guarantee, but it is printed. It's printed openly. It's not like a secret gossip. Now you are not here with me, or we're not connected through the internet, so you cannot ask me any questions. It was just a story, okay? Yes. There was a story also in China. There was one very famous and powerful general of the whole China. But uh, it's a known fact that he's very, very scared of his wife. She treated him like dirt, or like a servant or anything she wanted. So all of his uh, 
other colleagues or subordinates feel very sorry for him. So they advise him first, why don't you bring the whole of your army to your house? So let her see how powerful you are and how everybody obeys your command, how you are a man of might. Hmm? So that she will be scared and she won't harass you any longer. So the general fell, oh, it's a good idea, huh? Yes, of course, I'm a powerful general, mighty one. Why should I be afraid of her? Okay, so he gathered all his army men, came in front of his house, all over in the garden, everywhere, many kilometers long, powerful, in the position of ready to fight. And then he knocked at the door. I called his wife to come out. His wife came out. Saw the whole army everywhere. And you know how she reacted. She yelled at the general, saying, What? What now? What kind of theater are you making again today? Huh? Is it some new theater? Huh? Some silly game of yours? Tell them to buck off right away, or else. Oh. So the general said, Okay, okay, please calm down. I just want them to come here just to, uh, you know, like when some VIP came to a country. And that country will arrange for the army to show off in certain way. Uh, yeah, just to make an array of the army in different formations and different positions, different kinds of walking and all that. Very, very beautiful. Yeah. Or in unison. Yeah. This is for show. It's not like in the combat. But this is a, like a, the unified kind of power together, all the soldiers marching in the same way. Very beautiful also. So he say he wanted to demonstrate for her to enjoy. <laughs> That's it. And then he ordered all his army to quietly, you know, go home, go back to where they were. <laughs> Originally, the plan was different. <laughs> but he was too scared of his wife when she came out and roared like a lion. I scared him to death, you know. <laughs> scared him so much. Then he was shaking in front of her and said, No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I tell him to go. <laughs> it was just for you to look, to enjoy. <laughs> so in, in China, this story is called The Lion's Roar of He Dong. Sư Tử Hà Đông. The Lion's Roar of He Dong. <laughs> yeah, it's a very famous story. I wonder if it's a true story or not. But anyway, it's similar to this story, so by the way, I tell you. Mm. This story is not only about Satan, huh? Maybe the moral of it is that you should check out your partner before you want to cooperate with him or her to make a business because some people might not be as honest as we think they are. Sometimes outside they look very sweet and kind and gentle and honest, but inside it's different. It happened to me also many times. Yeah, including spiritual robbery and all kinds of stuff. Because some people think that uh, whatever initiation I gave you, it looks like outside only, it's not the inside. And all they have to do is just learn the outside things, and then they can do the same. It's not like that. It's not like that. You have to have the power inside to help the people you want to initiate. Otherwise, both of you will be in trouble because uh, Maya will control you and control your so-called initiated people and make you do bad things. Make your mind not pure, make your heart not clean, and then you will fall. And every day he will control you. You know, the force of the negative will control you. And even if you do good things, it's only for his credit. Because you don't do it with love, you do it just like blackmailing people so that people come and follow you with that motive. The people will thank you, people will respect you, worship you, and all that stuff. All these kinds of things, the mind will trick you to do it, to think about such things like that, and to have such a mentality. This is all the Maya is doing. Even if you do charity, the merit is only within the three worlds, and you will be bound by it. 
you will never get away from the circle of life and death and karma. Not to talk about the people that you are so-called leading. You lead them to fall, you lead them into the pit. You should never do business with Maya. That's why in the old time, not many masters would uh, give people initiation at random. They would test, they would check every aspect of that person before they give initiation. Very rare they just do it. Because sometimes you will bring trouble for yourself. The evidence is with the Buddha, Devadatta, his cousin, because he trusted his cousin. He thought, cousin, you know, so you give him initiation or something. Later he came out, Devadatta, with jealousy with the Buddha, trying to kill the Buddha, all kinds of things that he did, and defaming the Buddha and claiming every credit for himself. He has also his so-called disciples and monks and all that, so teaching nonsense, or copying or stealing the teaching of the Buddha and making it his own. Like he's the one who knows all that, all this, but in fact he knows nothing because he's not the Buddha. He's just working for Maya, for the devil, so that he can get fame and gain and all that. You know, people, they do that. That's why when Mirareba wanted to leave, uh, his master told him, go to the mountain somewhere, be alone, meditate. Don't bother teaching the worldly people because they all want just material things. It was correct so, but nevertheless, Milareba also taught somebody, I guess, so one of his disciples even poisoned him to death. Many instances, if, if I wasn't lucky, I would not have escaped death also. I guess heaven still wants me around to do some more work, but not without suffering, not without trouble every day, if I wanted to tell you all the suffering I have endured and all the trouble that was heaped upon me ever since I took over this job. It would fill many books. It would be more than suspense movies. Yeah, you would be too scared to even want to proclaim yourself a master, even if you want to. I don't know, maybe I should, but I just one after another, then I try to forget and I don't really remember too much detail. And it happened too much and too many decades already. I can't even remember them all. And I don't want to remember. I don't have even the mood to write down or to tell you all this stuff. I never wanted to. But maybe it's good for people to understand what it means to really be a true master, not just a copycat. Blessed viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Satan's Co-Investment, Part 2 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from a Treatise on Parents and Children by George Bernard Shaw, Vegetarian, Art Teaching, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you always be guided and protected by angels. Vegan side effect. It will be hard to see meat again. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.